This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Man, we sure got a lot of new near-Earth asteroids. And they're big, baby. That is true. Yeah, so we're taking a look at all the new asteroids that have been found in the last two or three months. A lot of them are pretty big. Massive. Large. We've got a lot of new near-Earth potentially hazardous objects coming between now and November 26th. And the thing about all these is that they've all been found within the last two or three months and the majority of them being found in the last two weeks. Now, if you look at it, 13 asteroids have been found in the last two to three months that are bigger than 100 meters, the largest one being 1.3 kilometers. Now, I don't get that. That's Planet X6. It says that it was discovered in 2011, but how got a 2013 name? I do not know. I just know it's 1.3 kilometers. And so, these are just the big ones. That's 13 big ones that I didn't find until a little while ago. Like, for example, PN43, it's 450 meters. They found that exactly a month ago. RC32, you guessed it, 250 meters. They found it a week ago. RM43, 630 meters. 630 meters big. That's massive. That is a huge A. I know you want me to say it, but I'm not going to say it, all right? Got it. Thor News, Asteroid Watch, on the march. You know the one big favor Amy Mainzer asked of me? Whoa, I just got an uncontrollable urge to eat a science sandwich. I don't even know what a science sandwich is, but it sounds finger licking good. Oh, back to the subject at hand. You know the one big favor Amy Mainzer asked of me? And when I say asked of me, I mean asked of everybody, and I just single myself out to feel very special. She said, hey dudes, can you guys watch for asteroids? Help us pick up their patterns, locations, get ideas on how to catch them, block them, destroy them, calm them down, or something like that. I don't know. I'm going to represent to you, I am crazy. So technically, I would not put 100% stock in anything I say. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, asteroids. Yeah, they are potentially hazardous. Anyway, okay, so if big ones don't get you excited, ooh, how about a little one? RZ-53? Yeah, it's only going to pass 0.6 lunar distances from the Earth, and they found it yesterday. And RZ, kind of a hoe. It is following Earth around. Kind of a hoe path. And one, I mean, but it's teeny tiny. It's like three meters, man. It's like nine feet tall, I believe. So, would it destroy a city? I don't know, maybe on a direct impact. Would it kill you? Heck yeah, if it landed right on your head. But, the chances of that happening are probably pretty low. Alright, we're going to start with my favorite, 2013 Ho. I think they named her that because she almost shares the same orbit with Earth. Like, if you look at that, man, that thing's crazy nuts, right? Like, go Ho, go Ho, go Ho, with your bad self. Look at that. She's a stalker, man. 2013 Ho is stuck in Earth. She just won't let go. And it's weird that that baby's so close and they just found her. You know what I'm saying? Let's go check and see how big Ho is. But I guess Ho is only 43 meters. And then we got 2013 NW. It looks like it likes to orbit out in the Ceres Vesta region. You got 2013 QL10. And that seems to share a partial orbit with Mars. And you got QH17. Once again, sharing a partial orbit orbit with earth man dude then you got ph balanced three you got qn 11 rn 9 ra 6 ra 6 it looks like its orbit also extends out near the vesta series region and you got ru 9 ru 9 dude what are you 9 that's when my new comeback what are you 9 and then you got this goofy broom 21 i'm sorry rm 21 Pretty crazy looking orbit. And you got RV9. Once again, it looks like an Earth orbit sharer. Wee! So happy together. RY5. Yeah, wow. Earth has got a lot of buddies flying along with it. Once again, I wish you could just punch in like five of these at once so you could watch them all at once. But no, that is not how it happens. You guys get to work on that, man. Thor News requests it. And up, I believe, from RN9 and up. These were all found in the last two weeks. RC32. RC32, once again, is another one of those. That nah, was fine. RE36 is a wacky orbit. Look at that. Woo! He's like, I'm wacky, dude. One of these asteroids is doing his own thing. Or whatever. And you got room 43. RL43, which has a wacky orbit as well. 
elongated RR43. Man, there's a lot of 43s in there. RN43. Why are there so many 43s? And RQ43. It's weird. Why are there so many 43s? That's our biggest conspiracy here. Then you got 2013 New Jersey, which is huge. And I hope it's not like New Jersey. Man, there was one chick on the show that was hot. Not Snooky. The other one. What was her name? J-Lo? J-Dub? J-Hoss? I don't know. I should forget about that. That's Jersey Shore. I watched one show. I got a migraine. Planet X6. Like I said, that is my favorite name of all of them. Okay. PY38. That looks close. Punty Whipped 6. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's a lot. Now I have a bad habit. I'll go to conspiracy sites, check in on all the conspiracies and stuff. And this one kid is getting all crazy with the conspiracy over asteroid Bam 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 Jera. I think it's weird they named an asteroid after the guy from Jackass, but hey, you know, whatever. You can name asteroids anything you want. If you want, you're NASA, I guess, right? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they come out with an asteroid named Thor is a dick. Meaning a detective, you know, because I, I hunt down all these stores. Anyway, am I getting off the point? I think I am. Okay, but it looks like Bam Bear Jera. I don't know. Maybe this is the culprit that is knocking all the orbits and asteroids our way. Could be. I don't know if you just want to put two and two together. Supposedly, it's one of the biggest asteroids in our solar system. If you'll notice, all the lunar distances are the big ones. You know, the closest one, I guess, is 2.5. There are two 13s in there. Most of them between the 20 and 60 range. But, uh... As you can see, or as we know and learned with DA-14, is that it's not necessarily the big ones we're worried about. It's all the stuff that's coming with it that we haven't seen yet. Am I right? I think I'm right. Okay, cool. So, you know, maybe it wasn't the best time for Congress and President to start defunding NASA, sequestering NASA, shutting down space fences and stuff. Or maybe it was the perfect time. Who knows? Anywho, just wanted to lay this out there, out there for you and keep an eye on everything going on. Like I said, we don't think these are going to hit us. But we just got to watch out for the stuff that comes with them. And you have a great Saturday. Asteroids in your face. Whatever. Shit. I need something funny to say at the end. How about, I just poo-pooed in my pants. No, that's too juvenile. What about, we built this city. We built this city on rock and roll. No, that ain't going to work. I guess I'm just not funny today. And I saw him troll a state of the end. He's like, you're never funny. I hate your guts. And to that troll, I say, I love you, man. I love everybody. God bless you. Peace out. I just got an uncontrollable urge to eat a science sandwich. Asteroids in your face. Whatever.